you all been good little boys and girls? Where's my milk and cookies? Mr. Bad Point, is that you? Uh, uh Mr. Bad Point? Uh, uh, oh, no, that's not me. I mean, who is Mr. Bad Point? No, no, I mean Mr. Bad Point. Uh, what little, uh, what a good little boy he is. Uh, uh, no, it's not me. I'm St. Nicholas. Okay, fine. You're St. Nicholas. But what are you doing here? I'm trying to find the real meaning of Christmas. Like, candy canes and jingle bells and Christmas trees? That's not the true meaning of Christmas. Uh, decking the halls? Uh, chestnuts roasting on an open fire? All those things are great, but that's not why we celebrate this season. Partridges and pear trees? Dancing sugar plums! Jingle bells! No, that's not what... Driving around for hours at the mall looking for a parking space? Looking for the perfect gift for your father? Who has everything and doesn't need anything? Trying to keep the house clean for your noisy, unkempt relatives? Now you're getting weird. The stress! How many more days? Oh, I can't take it anymore! It's me! It's Mr. Bad Point! What a surprise! I'm just a little overwhelmed by this holiday season. It can't be overwhelming. That's why sometimes we just sit back and remember the true meaning of the season. You mean the true meaning of Christmas? That's right. How about 2,000 years ago when God gave his son Jesus to make peace on earth? It doesn't feel very peaceful sometimes. Maybe we're doing wrong. Maybe instead of fighting for a parking space, we should let someone else take that for you. Maybe we should try harder to be kind to relatives or people or at the mall. So if God was willing to make peace with us, even though we didn't deserve it, we should be willing to make peace with other people? That's what I'm talking about. That's the true reason of the season. Or any season. Good point. Are there any presents in the back for me? No, you are on the naughty list. What?